Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. So, in the previous episode, I believe we went through the plans that we want to do with this hilltop over here. And we've already started putting down some dirt blocks. So what we'll do in this episode, we're going to do a quick time lapse of how this mountain gets built. Well, the dirt part, of course. And then we are going to start constructing some of the houses and perhaps some decorations here as well. And ultimately connect these two hilltops together. I also would like to fix this up here. We've got quite a few bridges that we do not need. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely have to fix you up. I have also opened the district over here. So a couple of columns are working now to try and connect this mountain in the background with the single water source that we do have in here. So that's definitely going to take uh, well, quite a bit of time. I mean, there are actually there's 12 of you working here, but everything's top down. So yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer. I think what might be actually a little bit smarter. Hmm. I might swap you out. Let's bring back the UI real quick. So if we... All right, there we go. Four of you are already in here. Perhaps you guys are going to need access. Yeah. So why don't we disconnect you there? Okay. And we are going to have just a tower of stairs in here. Okay, so now this way they can... Oh, I can see what's probably going to happen. Right. Why don't we give this side a priority? Okay, over that side. So that way, hopefully they do the dirt blocks on the other side first. And then they can hop over. Ah, uh, they do have to yeah, climb over from here as well. Okay, here you go. And then they can start doing the side of the wall here as well. Now, access-wise, I don't think they can go too far. But then again, you never know. So why don't we highlight all of this side first. Okay, so you guys can carry on with that over there. Let's uh, do a quick time lapse of the construction of this area. I've put in a few priorities as well. So hopefully they will not get stuck. All right, so here we go.
All right, and I think we can cut the time lapse right over here. There is just a little bit left to do, but um, yeah, I could have. Well, as we were building this before starting the time, time lapse, I actually prioritized this section obviously first uh, because I wanted to um, yeah have the background down first and then focus on the front. But what I probably should have done differently is not give this section the lowest priority, but the same sort of what's the middle one, the normal priority, so that everything would get done roughly around the same time. Then halfway through the time lapse, I thought, well, without moving the camera angle, so somewhere about here, I tried to put in a couple of those platforms to help with the access, but it was difficult to get this section in here. And also the builders could not keep up with the uh, with the columns in the terraforming station. But anyways, we are very close to completing this, which is great. Now we just got to figure out how do we want to construct and complete this area. But before we do that, we'll leave the beavers as they are. There's not too much left. And I mean, could we potentially give them a bit better access? Um, I suppose we could, but it's not a rush, so that's fine. What I'm more curious about is seeing what's happening over here. Oh, okay. So they have done quite a bit, it seems. Now, with these sections here, let's have a look. How is our access? Oh, right. Okay, so everything is already... Let's try again. It seems to be red. Oh, wait a second. We forgot to... Oh, never mind. I think that's what our problem is. Let's uh, put this rock back in here. And now you can run all the way up until here which is not too bad at all okay and with the rest this is already in red as well so we probably do have to make some i guess rearrangements with the district center or we start using you to complete this section here but the problem we are going to have if we pause it for a second is the uh, terraforming stations yeah and you guys aren't needed now dirt okay we haven't run out yet which is good as well okay yeah i guess we can leave you for for the time being right so with the construction over here there's a couple of things i would like to do so first of all we would also like to have some canals and water here in here of course and a couple of options we have is using water dumps or perhaps uh, it's a little further away but we do have some water sources here as well so if we were to build up this mountain which is of course going to be very tricky connecting them up means we are cutting the link hmm yeah i think maybe or perhaps it's going gonna have to be those water dump tricks over here now, I do also want to have a bit of, uh, or, or a few trees growing here. I'm not sure if the the path should really be around or through the middle. One thing I do know, however, I would like to put the district center right in the middle here. And I believe once we do that, we should still have the access to all of these buildings as well. I think so. I mean, if we look over here, for example, this runs all the way here and that's a very long distance so almost covers the whole screen here do the same mm, yeah should be fine i guess the only way we can figure this out is why don't we start building and scheduling things in so with this mountain over here we know that we do have a bit more height this isn't the max limit I believe I might be wrong but this is very close to a max limit over there so I'd like to make kind of like a central tower here so if the district sent um, yeah that's probably gonna be on the same level as the sides of the mountain but the placing of you I guess somewhere here seems to be central enough yet yeah, probably these four in here uh, <laughs> How was it again? Let's have a look. So district center. Yeah, this should be good. So let's grab a few more of these blocks. 
So now we know. Uh, right. Just for now, let's place you in right about there. Okay. Now, when the district center is going to be at the same level with the, uh, with the mountain, I would like to still construct something underneath it as well. And I think uh, in the front of it, we'll probably have stairs going up and down. Right, right, right. So access wise, how much do we want to go lower or how much lower do we want to go? Not entirely sure. Oh, no, no, no. You guys should still complete this section here first. That's the highest of priorities. Now, <laughs> let's have a look. Well, why don't I figure this out whilst we have the night time? And hopefully by morning, I have a bit of a blueprint already in place in here. All right, so we do have a bit of a plan for how we want to start constructing this mountain here. Of course, we don't have everything down just yet. What we do have, however, let's take a look at this. So first of all, I was initially thinking of putting like a viewing platform over here for the beavers to oversee this area. But then I, I guess maybe there isn't too much to see here or perhaps we could still do it on, the, on a different corner. But for some reason, I decided to turn this viewing platform into a housing estate instead because I'm a little bit worried that, let's see, how many beavers do we have here? 90 beavers, yeah. So we need quite a bit of housing for them and perhaps this could be the uh, first of the apartment blocks where our beavers can move into. Now with the rooftop area, I mean, I guess we could even build this a little bit higher in the future as well. But for now, we do have this uh, bit of a blueprint in place. On the bottom level, we've got triple lodges. Right on top of this one here is actually just a normal lodge and way at the back, just behind. Let me just delete one of them. Oh, here we go. We've got a triple stack of the mini lodges right here. So before I forget to place it back, here we go. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And what we want to do with the middle section, I've given them the lowest of priority for the time being. Essentially, yeah. So if I bring down a few levels, we would like to have another underground warehouse for some reason. And uh, right on top of it, most likely the district center, although I'm not entirely sure, at least just yet. And then the idea is that this tower keeps going up a little bit and then on all four corners, We'll have some more beaver housing, or perhaps this is where we could do the viewing platform. Yeah, they get a bit of a 360 view and then a lovely rooftop place here as well. Yeah, so this might be actually a better idea. So let's not do a, a viewing platform on the lower levels, but let's try and make it as high as we can so, so that we do get those lovely views all over our colony. Okay, so since this episode, I mean... I have a feeling it's, it's quite long. It's taken me quite a long time to record this, but I'm pretty sure that during the editing, I will cut down the two hours of footage that I have. So I think let's um, construct all of this in the next episode. And uh, hopefully I will also see some of your comments of what we should build in this area. So let's go th through this quickly again. Uh, we'll skip these two, but essentially we want to do like a grand entrance with some statues, monuments, uh, yeah, so to connect them up from District 1. On these corners, we did have kind of an idea to maybe, uh, hmm, to maybe connect it up, build up this mountain and get some of the water to, to go into our newest construction area. And on this side, yeah, not entirely decided. I think we are going to have to get rid of some of the ruins over here. And then we will definitely place some more housing on this side as well. In the middle bit here, where we are connecting the two districts together, I was thinking maybe we could do raise the land at least in the middle here and then put some decorations and maybe like a pagoda here as well above the... Uh, or at the same height as the bridges are right now. Now with these ruins, most likely going to leave them how they are, but we could even put some decorations here and turn them into rocket ships perhaps. Who knows? Lots of ideas, but I'd love to hear if you have some uh, amazing ideas or something interesting we can try to build here as well. 
and then yeah then we uh, shall see how we are gonna complete this section with the final goal of moving all the beavers out from district one up to here and right now our global well-being is 47 right yeah whereas in our forestry district we have 55 it seems so yeah not too far from the maximum but all right i think that's uh probably enough for this episode let's cut it over here so thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>